Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time that you've dropped into my channel, welcome. The purpose of this video is to share with you a calibration I performed last night. I had clear skies, so I went outside, got set up, and this will be a demonstration of how to do a polar alignment using the, uh, using the QHY Pole Master. Uh, I apologize for some of the quality. I'm still, let alone learning how to focus on the astrophotography tasks that I have to perform. I'm also getting familiar with how to incorporate uh, OBS Studio on my laptop. Uh, you'll see in the video I'm about to share with you uh, a lot of um, mouse trails and those type of things. And also I notice when I move around uh, within the uh, Pole Master application, uh, the mouse does not necessarily go directly to the area I am uh, talking about, but hopefully you'll be able to glean enough information from the video um, to see that uh, what it would take uh, to do a calibration with the Pole Master that cost uh, $299. And, um, I was able to complete the calibration in under five minutes last night, and for me, uh, that's a, a, a tremendous value to be able to do that. And so what you see on the screen right now is my Pole Master attached to my Skywatcher HEQ5 uh, mount. And if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I welcome people to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're made aware of when I uh, publish new content. And as always, comments and questions I find are what are the most valuable. Um, when you comment on something I'm doing or you ask a question about something I'm doing, I wind up learning in the process. And so far, I've been getting some good comments from people that have more experience than I do uh, that have really helped me as a beginner. So I hope if you're a beginner, you're taking time to read the comments because there's often good information uh, located there. All right, so let me see if, uh, if I can make this work as I flip over to the next screen in OBS. Okay, and what you should be seeing is um, a view of uh, through my Pole Master of Polaris. Uh, I've got a neighbor's tree that is kind of in my way uh, but it's not too much in the way to prevent me from seeing Polaris. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this video. Um, it has its own uh, audio recording. From time to time I may stop it and uh, interject something. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look. Okay, let's see if we can do a polar alignment tonight using the QHY polar scope. First thing I'm going to do is connect my camera and over here you have settings for exposure and we can change the exposure and also gain. So I'm and uh, I just stopped the video here as you can see my mouse is not actually uh, going to the area that I'm actually clicking on in the uh, in the application. So uh, please keep that in mind. I'm going to choose to move up in the exposure. And now I've got, uh, I think, enough stars to get started. So that's finished. Now I'm going to double click on Polaris. There we are. And then we have a template here. And what we want to do is get the stars into the template. And I'm going to say that's good. And uh, as you probably know, this is Polaris here, and then the template, you uh, move by using these controls here to position the stars within the circle. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to accept that. Uh, otherwise, you would rotate your, uh, your template over here uh, using this slider control. And the they don't have to be necessarily in the center of the circle. So I'm going to say success and I'm going to say no. So we have to go through the whole thing. Choose a star other than Polaris. Now uh, I'm going to choose this one here. Okay, I'm going to choose this one here. And now I am going to rotate 
the mount by 30 degrees, and I got to remember which star I picked. And I believe I picked this star here, uh, but we'll see. 30 degrees in the direction it's asked me to rotate it. Okay, that's finished. Wants me to double click it again and we see a satellite or going by up there. Okay, and it wants me to rotate it some more. Okay, and then I gotta, that's finished. And then I gotta double click it again. Okay, and now it wants me to return. Yep, so it was this star right up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to observe that star uh, as it transcends around this uh, circle. Turn the mount uh, to the home position in the right ascension axis. That's what I've been rotating. Okay, the star is on the ring, essentially, so I'm going to say it's parked, okay. And now what it wants me to do is double-click Polaris, and now it wants me to move Polaris over to that position there. So I'll start with my azimuth uh, knobs, controls. Okay, that's pretty good. And now I'll adjust my altitude. Up, oh, wrong direction. That's pretty good. A little more tweak on the uh, wrong way. Okay, I lock all my uh, controls. Okay, I'm going to say finished. Success. All right. Finished. Double click Polaris, rotate again to uh, bring the template onto the stars. That looks pretty good. Success. And now it wants me to start the monitor. And now it wants me to do the fine adjustment. Um, but what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to leave it where it is and call it success. It's it's pretty close to on top of it, and in my experience, it moves around a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to say it's good. Okay, so that was how to do a polar alignment with the QHY Pole Master. I hope you found this informative. Uh, it took me a little bit longer. Okay, so as I was saying there to close out that video, uh, I hope you found this information helpful. Uh, I know $299 uh, is a considerable sum of money, especially as I'm finding out as a beginner, there's so many other things you might like to purchase as part of your astrophotography deep sky object imaging kit. So it becomes a matter of priority but I'm very pleased I spent the $299 for the QHY Pole Master. It really makes, allows me to do a polar alignment quickly uh, and uh, rather accurately, uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, 
So uh, my commitment to you is that I'll continue to try and improve the quality of the uh, videos as I'm out there at night um, trying to uh, run my capture plans and uh, doing uh, plate solving and those type of things. Uh, so just kind of uh, stick with it. I'll make some improvement there. But uh, uh, thank you for dropping into the channel. Until next time.